everyone welcome to the channel and today i will show you how to split and merge polygon in rgis pro so let's get started so now you can able to visualize if i have already the polygon shape file in rgis pro so you can able to visualize in the table of content section so the layer called polygon split and merge so this is the polygon feature i'm going to use in this tutorial to split and merge polygons so now let me right right click on the polygon split merge and click this option called attribute table so now we can able to visualize the split poly split polygon split merge layer the attribute table we have fid shape id name and area in meter square so so here each of the polygon repre represents the different building and the area in meter square so here you can able to visualize i have selected the one of the polygon that is building one so our objective is to split this polygon into to split this particular polygon into three different polygons so to split this polygon into uh, two or three polygons you have to make sure that you select the layer that is our polygon split merge layer so go to the edit section now select this option called select by rectangle now let me click this select tool and let me clear, select this particular polygon so i have selected this particular polygon so here you can able to visualize an option called split so basically it divides a polygon feature into two feature along a splitting line you create across the feature so now let me select this tool called split so here you can able to visualize so now you can able to visualize a new window has been popped up saying modify features in that select this option called split so the split can be done by drawing a line across our polygon so the split can be done across uh, these uh, variety of methods first you can use a line and second you can use a rectangle line and third you can use a arc segment you can draw an arc to uh, split the polygon so in this in my case i'm going to use this line uh, line to split our polygon so now to split you have to draw a line across the polygon so let me select this tool called snapping so now let me place a line across this polygon and uh, right click so a new polygon has been created we have uh, splitted uh, one polygon into two different polygon you can visualize an attribute table so here we have a uh, previously uh, previously we had uh, only one building uh, one so now we can able to visualize we have two different building ones so one polygon has been split into two different polygons which is indicated in the attribute table and also highlighted here so now we can visualize we basically managed to split a single polygon into two different polygons so you can also change the color of this polygon just by heading here over here and uh, right click and you can select your color of your choice so now let me select a color we select a blue color so now if, uh, you can visualize it so the one thing here to see in the attribute table we have split the polygon this particular single polygon into two different polygon but the name is remains the same for the both the polygons that is building one and building one similarly the area is also remains the same as a 527.3 square meter square so you can correct it just by heading over to the area that is right click and select the calculate geometry choose your option called properties and select the area and after that you're going to select the the area units for example you're going to select meter square and you're going to select the coordinates reference system and click ok to uh, change the area of this uh, polygon so now let us split uh, this particular polygon into uh, into uh, two polygons now let me clear the selection so now let me click the select tool now i will select this particular polygon so which is highlighted in blue color now select the tool called split so in the modify a new window has been uh, popped up that is modify features and split click this option and you can click this uh, line tool and we can split the polygon let me split this polygon let me place a point here and uh, let me finish the sketch so now we can visualize we create managed to create the second polygon out of this particular first polygon so we can visualize in our uh, attribute table 
so we have now we have uh, splitted that particular polygon into two different polygons it is highlighted in our uh, highlighted in our attribute table and also highlighted in the maps map section here so it is highlighted we have two different polygons so now let us clear the selection so we can notify you can visualize here we have a polygon one and it is a let me select the select tool so you can uh, visualize here we have a polygon one polygon two and this is polygon three and also in the attribute section if you uh, click this particular area the particular polygon gets highlighted so you can visualize here the color gets highlighted here and also in the maps in the map uh, section there is a, the polygon gets highlighted so now you can also change the numbering in this building for example we can uh, change this number to building 7 so we can convert this building to building 8 similarly to correct the area you can able to visualize here the area it is an it is an error previously the one uh, the the entire polygon area was around 527.35 square meters now after getting we are using the split tool all the area remains the same so to solve this error you have to go to this area right click and select the calculate geometry so in that you're going to input feature will be our polygon split merge layer now select the property as an area and uh, choose the area unit as a square meters so i'm going to select the coordinate reference system that is current map that is 1984 WGS 1984 web mercator now click ok to run so now you can able to visualize our building so here the building one it is represented in the area that is in meter square 209.68 meter square and the building 8 in 266.62 meter square building 7 is 51.05 meter square so however if you could like to merge this polygon back together you can use this tool called merge tool so before that you're going to select the the polygons you want to uh, merge it i'm going to select these two polygons so i've selected these two polygons so now to merge this polygon together you have to uh, click this tool called merge so now a new window has been popped up saying modify features so so now here it's asking which uh, attribute that their feature attributes to be gets uh, needs to be preserved for example so we have two different polygons we, have, we could like to merge it so it is asking to preserve the attribute details of any one of this any one of this polygon so for that you have to uh, click this any one of your choice so because we're going to merge two polygons together it could like to preserve only one of the attribute details so for that we're going to select one of this uh, one of this option so you can click the this particular polygon to preserve the details of the attributes attribute table so we can preserve the attribute details of either this polygon or this particular polygon so let us select this particular polygon so now click merge to merge this both polygon together so now you can able to visualize the both the polygons are get merged together as a one single polygon and one of its attribute details are gets preserved and similarly if you if you could like to merge this both polygons together make sure that you select this two polygons together and go to the merge tool so here a power window has been popped up saying modify feature so in that make sure that you select one of the attribute details of uh, one of the attributes to preserve one of the details of the attribute table so you can visualize we have two different polygon so select one to preserve the details of one of the attribute details so i will select this particular one so now click this uh, click this option merge to merge the polygons together so now you can visualize that the polygons are get merged similarly the area is uh, to calculate the area of this merged polygon you have to go to this uh, field called area meter square that is right click and click this option called calculate geometry so in that you make sure that you select the property as a area and the area units in in square meters and choose your coordinate reference system as a current map that is wgs1984 web mercator so now click ok 
So now you can able to visualize the area here that is 527.36 square meters. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, split and merge polygon in ArcGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.